Check. Teeth check. It's not check. What is up, everybody? It's your boy C Money. After last week's snot debacle, or snot gate, as the interwebs are calling it, I'm trying to be a little bit more aware of what's going on in the face region. Hopefully, you're not staring at a big goober for the entire episode. We've got the flat irons popping in the background. I'm trying something out a little bit new today and working on not one, but two cameras. Oops, it's not on. Not one, but two cameras. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Wayne's World reference. Show Wing. I'm not sure if we have time for it. Oh. Yes, we do, because this is my show. Tentpole! <laughs> but a quick aside. Yeah, that's what she said. The Spanish word for booger is moco, M-O-C-O. I found this out while dating a Spanish-speaking girl. When she found out my last name, she immediately broke up with me. Couldn't live in a world where her children would be raised with the last name of booger. I completely understand. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Okay. Let's get to the focus of this episode. We are now 11 days out from the big dance, Western States. This may be my final update because at some point I just need to shut off the social medias and focus on mentally preparing for the race. If this is the final episode, it's been a delight. It's never easy to say goodbye, so let's save that for the end. What are we talking about today? I was lucky enough to attend OR today in Denver, and if you're not familiar with OR, it's the abbreviation for the state of Oregon. It also is a very popular convention in the outdoor space, outdoor retailer. I was rocking the Nike trail gear, hanging out at the booth, signing autographs, kissing babies, etc., etc. More importantly, I came away with not only a sweet new koozie, a sweet new koozie, but also, I found my hat for Western States. And boy, is it a beauty. However, as I was walking back to my car, I found this. Not a great way to end an otherwise absolutely fantastic day. But on the car ride back, I had a bit of an epiphany. I am calling this the parking ticket problem. Showing. So, get to my car. There's a ticket waiting for me. But halfway, uh-oh. The train is coming. <laughs> Calling my buddy on the drive home, I had an opportunity to tell him how awesome OR was, how great of a workout I had in the morning. Instead, I just complained to him for 15 minutes about how crappy it was getting a ticket. But why? There was literally nothing I could do at that point. And as soon as I came to that realization, things started improving for me a little bit. I apologized to my friend for being so negative, hung up the phone, and then instead of going immediately home, I decided to treat myself at a place I call Costco Wholesale. And while I wish my intentions were good, they were not. All I could think about was the frozen yogurt at the food court, how I wanted to drown my sorrows away bought some random groceries, bumped into another temptation, the chocolate granola, which is absolutely delicious and happened to be on sale. Immediately put that into my cart, but as I was approaching checkout, realized, no, Chris, you don't need this granola. Is this something a Western States champion would do? And before I even finished the question, I already knew the answer, a no. So I put the granola back on the shelf because that's what heroes do. That's what Because that's what heroes do. Because that's what heroes do. Following checkout, I knew I had just one more obstacle. I saw the frozen yogurt once again. Again said, is this something that's going to provide me short-term happiness and long-term regret? Yes. And I walked away. Walking away from those temptations is a sacrifice today, but I know will taste even sweeter two weeks from now in the celebrations post-race. Okay, that was a long-winded explanation of the parking ticket problem. I guarantee 
guarantee you during your next race, there will be a moment where something is gonna go wrong. I felt foolish for getting this parking ticket, but as soon as it happened, there was nothing I could do to change the fact that it occurred. And the only way to get past it was to move on as quickly as possible and not let it impact me. I could have whined and complained longer to my friend. I could have indulged in those sweets at Costco, but instead I tried to look at the positive, saw an opportunity to film a YouTube episode and put a smile back on my face. What could a parking ticket be in a race? Tripping and falling. You forget to take a gel, drop a flask, getting lost on course. At the Black Canyon 100K, I tripped on the most innocent of rocks, immediately fell to the Arizona desert floor. The pins holding up my bib tore through my singlet, pierced my nipples, my knees were scraped up, my hands were badly bruised. I gave myself an opportunity to let out one awful scream, get all the emotion out of my system, pick myself back up, and kept going knowing that there was nothing I could do to fix the foolish mistake I had just made. You have an opportunity to get angry or to move past it. Give yourself a moment take a deep breath, and then keep on going. I know I'm gonna be facing some unexpected things at Western States. The funny thing about something that's unanticipated is you don't know what it's gonna be. I hope that when those challenges come up during the race, I can overcome them. I hope when you face your next challenge, you're a little bit more prepared for it, but rest assured that you are not alone. Everyone else out there is battling their own parking tickets. Fortunately, my ticket today only cost me $30. Probably need to skip my next Costco run, but I survived the moment, and instead of doing something destructive today, I'm gonna end with something positive, perhaps even getting in a power hike after this. So that's where I'm gonna leave you all today. I've really enjoyed sharing these updates in the weeks leading up to Western States. I can't believe we're a week and a half away from race day. Back in January of this year, even before I had qualified for Western States, I told my family one of my goals for this year was to show up at Western States as prepared as possible, and that would be winning for me. I certainly can't control everything on race day. Don't know how my body's gonna react to the heat, the snow, the 100 miles of running. Regardless of the outcome, I know I have done everything in my power to show up with the highest potential for an awesome outcome. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have expectations for the race, but I'm just proud of what I've been able to accomplish in the last couple of weeks to prepare myself as best as possible. All that's left in the next week and a half, getting the rest I need, avoiding the temptations that I've already talked a little bit about today, and showing up to that race line, the fittest, most mentally prepared, confident version of myself, and that can be a very dangerous thing. The Nike boys and women are gonna be doing some big things next weekend. I'll see you all at Squaw, but more importantly, check in with you in Auburn. Only 100.2 miles to go, baby. See you all in Auburn.